Hi folks and thanks for joining me. You're looking at my next project here. It's a little Emerson Model AX212 from uh, 1938. That's when it was uh, introduced to the market, late 1938. More for sales in 1939. It was known as the Little Miracle with the uh, Miracle Tone Chamber here. Which today we would typically uh, refer to this as more of a, a bullseye design. This was uh, supposed to enhance the audio quality of the uh, receiver itself. It's a little uh, super heterodyne, covers the uh, broadcast band from uh, 540 to 1730 uh, kilocycles. Uh, more on that in just a moment. You can see we've got uh, a few uh, bumps and scars here on the uh, cabinet itself, and this is uh, one of two cabinets. Uh, that were actually produced by the uh, Ingraham uh, Cabinet Company out of uh, Bristol, Connecticut. Uh, this being the um, Maple and there was another one made in uh, Walnut as well. So uh, pretty unique to have this particular one. You guys saw me feature this uh, radio sometime back on how to remove uh, difficult knobs. The plastic uh, lens here across the uh, dial face is uh, compromised, so uh, we'll reproduce a new one there. Uh, that's an uh, easy task to achieve. And uh, you can see the uh, top side of the cabinet here. Uh, beautiful uh, design. Again, it has some character here. We'll see if we can sand some of this out. If uh, not, it will just add some uh, age and patina to the radio once we uh, refinish it. You'll notice these uh, beautiful uh, inlaid stripes here. There's four of them. This back one's missing along with some veneer and substrate here in this area that we'll have to work on. But again, the uh, green inlaid was referred to as uh, purfling material. Uh, I believe this to be plastic. We'll uh, pull a piece of this out since it's already compromised and uh, look at it. Then I'll look for a, a suitable replacement or uh, reproduce something that uh, matches the existing uh, purfling uh, material that you see. Flip this around let you look at the uh, other side here. And the cabinet itself is in uh, really good shape. And again you can see the um, beautiful maple uh, veneer that was used. Now the uh, back of the uh, radio here is uh, not in great shape, so I may look for a uh, reproduction back or uh, just leave it as is and kind of clean the edges up. That's most likely what I'll do. The schematic itself called out the original uh, resistance line cord at about 150 ohms. We'll look to replace that with a modern day cord and uh, do a capacitor or go back to the uh, resistor and uh, diode like we did in the previous restoration. Anyway, you guys can see uh, here there's a little closer look here at the uh, cabinet work that will need to be done. I'll see if I have any uh, maple veneer. may have to uh, source that and then build the substrate up in this area and a closer look here at the uh, purfling material, these uh, green inlaid uh, pieces, about one millimeter in width. Let me uh, pull this thing out of the uh, cabinet now, and uh, let's take a look at the uh, chassis itself. And a little closer look here at the uh, back that I had mentioned. It's had better days. Definitely see the uh, model number there. AX212. Uh, and here's my first look at the uh, chassis as well. Um, very, very compact as I alluded to earlier. You guys can uh, see here. Nice and tight. I don't think I referenced, but the uh, tubes in here, according to uh, Emerson's marketing material, can be the uh, metal tubes or you can see uh, GT tubes as well. 
is a recommendation for the uh, receiver itself. And I'm missing some tubes and you can see the grid cap here, what was uh, remaining is in the uh, grid cap uh, holder here for this particular tube. Antenna coil here and maybe the original uh, antenna that uh, came with the receiver uh, coiled up here with some tape around it, so that's pretty neat. So first glance, I don't see a lot of rust here on the uh, receiver itself, on the chassis probably more than a good clean. Let me uh, flip this around here. And there's the uh, front side. Maybe a few speaker repairs. I uh, can't tell. Yeah, it does look like possibly some speaker repairs in this area have been made at some point in time. Let's take a look underneath here. I'll try to do some photos here as well up close so you guys can see this better in some picture in picture. Nice and tight and that's what you would expect to see on something uh, so small here. A lot crammed in a uh, small space. So it should make for a, a fun project here that uh, will kick off here uh, soon. Thanks for taking time to watch, folks. Take care.